Hey everybody, it's Matt Larkin here, Managing Editor and Senior Writer at Daily Faceoff. And when we talk trade deadlines, sometimes it's fun to remember the blockbusters, but also the lopsided deals, the Philip Forsberg trade, if you will. But sometimes both teams come out better as a result of a trade. And that's why I want to count down my top five win-win trades at the deadline in the salary cap era. First off, we have in 2007, the Boston Bruins acquire Andrew Ference, Chuck Kobusu from the Calgary Flames for a 2008 fourth round pick, Wayne Primo and Brad Stewart. And of course, we know why Boston benefited here. Andrew Ference ends up staying for several seasons, ends up being a crucial piece of the 2011 Stanley Cup puzzle, gets four goals, 10 points for a guy who's not really offensive during that cup run. But the Flames, it's the throwaway piece, the fourth round draft pick that becomes TJ Brody, who becomes a stalwart on that blue line for 10 years in a shutdown role, playing the right side with Mark Giordano. So both sides of that trade come away feeling great. In 2011, the Boston Bruins acquire Rich Peverly and Boris Falabic from the Atlanta Thrashers for Blake Wheeler and Mark Stewart. To me, this is about as win-win as it gets. On one hand, Boston, they need to replace Mark Savard, who's hurt. They get a great face-off man in Rich Peverly, adds great depth to that lineup, helps them win a Stanley Cup. And the Atlanta Thrashers get literally their top scorer in franchise history, Blake Wheeler, more than 800 points with the Thrashers. And of course, the Winnipeg Jets ends up becoming the captain. Again, the definition of a trade that really benefits both sides. In 2014, this one's a little different, so stay with me. The Florida Panthers acquire Roberto Luongo and Stephen Anthony from the Vancouver Canucks for Jacob Markstrom, Sean Mathias. The Panthers, they bring Luongo home for those great, those great twilight years, gets a 921 save percentage over the next four seasons before retiring in 2019, and the Canucks, they buy low on a prospect in Jacob Markstrom. He has some of his best seasons there, top 10 in the Vezina vote twice, but also the Canucks get a little bit of help with that cap recapture penalty on Luongo after he retires. They gotta pay that for three years. In 2016, it's a true hockey trade. This happened six weeks before the deadline, give or take, but a very important deal. Ryan Johansson goes to the Nashville Predators. Seth Jones goes to Columbus Blue Jackets, one for one. They even cross paths in the airport that day. And to me, it's sort of an old fashioned trade. You don't see too many of those these days, a true hockey trade. Johansson becomes Nashville's number one center. The tenure there doesn't end great, but he helps him get to the Stanley Cup in 2017. Seth Jones becomes the number one defenseman in Columbus on some of those John Tortorella coached teams that had some pretty good years. Lastly, 2023, a recent trade. The New York Islanders acquired Bo Horvat from the Vancouver Canucks for prospect Atu Ratti, Anthony Beauvillier, and very importantly, a 2023 conditional first rounder. So what happens? After that trade, 30 days later, Patrick Alvin takes that first rounder, flips it to the Detroit Red Wings for Philip Ronick, who is now a crucial component of Vancouver's decor, playing with Quinn Hughes on a first place team. And of course, the New York Islanders, they get one of their best franchise players in a while, Bo Horvat, they end up signing him six days after the deal to an extension. So both parties come out feeling great. And those are my top five win-win deals of the salary cap era. Please head over to dailyfaceoff.com for all the trade deadline coverage you need. What's up, hockey fans? If you enjoyed that video, then you need to be hitting the subscribe button right here at Daily Faceoff. Exclusive interviews and analysis from our hockey insider, Frank Saravalli, fantasy updates from Brock Sagan, and a daily live show at noon Eastern, Monday through Friday. You don't want to miss any of the fantastic content, so hit that subscribe button.